What's going on YouTube? This is Jeremiah aka Analog Sets and I'm bringing you some Modern Warfare 3 gameplay. Uh, it's a free-for-all and I'll spoil it now. It's a 30 and 0. I'm using the PP90 uh, M1 or whatever it's called and uh, yeah with the red dot I mean a holographic and suppressor. I'm running specialist kill package. Uh, I think my perks are uh, marathon, hardline, steady aim, and then uh, you know I get sleight of hand, scavenger, dead silence, and then I get all the perks. Um, yeah, specialist is pretty badass. And it's funny, this is actually my very first ever free for all game in Modern Warfare 3. So far, I've only been sticking to the you know all the team stuff, TDM, kill confirmed, uh, dom. And you know I haven't really played any free for all, but you know I've heard people saying uh free for all lends itself really well, especially for this game. And I would have to be inclined to agree, considering this was my first game, and uh, I performed <laughs> remarkably well. <laughs> and uh, you you know I haven't really uh, made a video with my thoughts on Modern Warfare 3. And at first I was really torn. I mean I liked a lot of the tweaks and changes that they had made but it was very different from Black Ops and I found uh, at least at first I was uh, I was playing this game like I would play Black Ops and that just doesn't work um, no it doesn't work at all and it, uh, it it led to some frustration although um, what I am really uh, happy about with this game is all the tweaks and changes that they have made um, it, it feels really balanced I mean uh, Black Ops I thought was really balanced. Look at this. I get this guy with my last bullet. So lucky. <laughs> but, uh, you know, Bl Black Ops was pretty balanced. And this game, I was really unsure. But once you actually kind of, you know, um, get off the learning curve and, you know, you start to get it down and, you know, you, you, you come to grips with it. Um, me and this guy are chasing each other around. I took a wrong turn and I'm just like, goodbye. <laughs> Um, but yeah, you know, once I actually kind of got uh, the grip of it, got my groove back, as Stella once said, um, you know, I uh, started to perform a little better, um, and I think this game kind of shows that. Um, yeah, I just got this game yesterday, and I'm still kind of like super excited about it, just because, uh, you know, I did a few things that I did not think I was going to do in this game. <laughs> um, uh, for one, I, uh, I went flawless. And I just did not think I was going to do that in this game. Uh, you know, I'm not really a camper-ish type person. Um, I don't really think you could call this camping just because I never sit in a, a spot for more than a few seconds. I basically took this third of the map, this long, narrow third, and I said, you know, this is my property. And like any landowner in America, if you show up on my property unannounced, you can and probably will get shot depending on which state you're in. And uh, that's pretty much how I viewed this match. You know, um, this is my property, and any and all trespassers would be shot and killed, which is what I uh, <laughs> intended, aimed to do, and succeeded. Um, I was really happy about that. But, yeah, you're, you're so squishy in this game. You die so incredibly quick. You don't really have those long bullet dance-offs like you did in uh, Black Ops. <laughs> Um, you know, it's basically y you run into a guy and one of you is going to die and it's going to be within a few seconds. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it's just a really fast ga paced game. I mean, everything is nerfed. Noob tubes are nerfed. Grenades are nerfed. Uh, even the killstreaks seem a little nerfed. Um, but overall, uh, you know, I really enjoy this game because, you know, in Black Ops or any other past Call of Duty, uh, you know, there's just those days where you're having an off day and you can't really get your kill streaks and you just, it's really frustrating and there's just a bunch of bullshit going on. And I have found that with this game, that really doesn't happen. I mean, yeah, you can still have bad days, but there's a far, like, less amount of bullshit in this game I have found so far. I mean, yeah, there's still bullshit. It's Call of Duty. Of course, there's going to be some bullshit. Yeah. But this game does not make me rage half as much as Black Ops, Modern Warfare 2. Hell, last night I was playing Battlefield 3 with my friend, and that was making me rage so hard. Uh, oh, I was just like, dude, I want to go back to Modern Warfare 3 right now. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I don't rage as hard. You know, I have more fun playing that. And 
I mean, we, we're just on a bad team, and that's the thing with Battlefield. If you've got a crappy team, it's a really unpleasant experience, and, you know, just two people cannot make the difference when, you know, nobody else is doing anything. Anyways, off topic, we're talking about this gameplay. So, um, yeah, I, uh, what, what else did I never think I'd, okay, yeah, so I never thought I would go flawless, just because of how squishy you are, but... Um, well, I also never thought I'd get the uh, massive air or massive ordnance air blast, or the Moab or mother of all bombs. I'm just gonna say Moab because uh, I don't know. I like the way that sounds. Moab. Never thought I'd get the Moab just because uh, you know you're so squishy, and like I said, I've only been uh, sticking to the team-based games, so I you know I, I just never really thought it was something that would happen. It's, it's actually kind of funny though, while I was playing this game, I, uh, I I really did not, I wasn't thinking about that at all. I wasn't thinking about my KD. I wasn't thinking about uh, how many kills I had. I, I just wanted to win, you know, I just wanted to win strong, you know, like get, get a good lead and keep it and just dominate these noobs. And that's all I wanted to do. And that's all I thought about. And I succeeded greatly. <laughs> Um, I, I, if you actually notice, I have not checked my score once, and I found that the best games I've ever had are the games when I don't check the score. I don't think about it. It's not on my mind. It's, you know, the furthest from my mind that it could possibly be. And then only after the game is done that I, you know, actually see the scoreboard, and I was like, whoa, hey, you know, that was actually a, a pretty good game. And right here, I see this unlucky fool. And I get the Moab, and I, my jaw dropped when I got it. I was like, whoa, I, for, I, I had completely forgotten there was a Moab in the game. You know, I was running Specialist, so I just uh, wasn't expecting it. Do my little victory jump dance, shoot the air, twirl around. <laughs> and uh, the guys in the lobby were just, uh, they weren't happy about it. They were, <laughs> they were just kind of like, oh, come on, dude, 30 and oh, what the f***. <laughs> they weren't happy. But I was excited, and I even told them, I was like, hey guys, you're going to be on YouTube. <laughs> I got Flawless, Omnicide, Moab. It was a good game. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.